The storm's building out west. That's exactly what's happening here. Let's take a look here in a Dickinson live image looking toward the southwest here. Again, doesn't look too ominous now, but that could change here over the next one half hour. We've got 71 degrees, a strong east wind here. That moisture fetched right into southwest North Dakota. A couple of very strong, discrete supercell thunderstorms right here. And again, we're going to see exactly what happens here over the next 20 minutes to 30 minutes and how these evolve because right now it looks like the northern storm is picking up some steam here and we might see a little weakening with the storm that's also a tornado warned storm southwest of Dickinson but uh, southwest our county under that severe or that tornado warning rather uh, again we've just got to keep a close eye on this but if you're in Dickinson anywhere here in southwest North Dakota just remain weather aware Billings Slope Stark counties you've got that tornado warning again look at the general movement here of this particular cell albeit a little bit weaker but remember the radar is so far away in Bismarck, so a lot happening underneath that radar beam. So this could be quite intense with golf ball to possibly baseball size hail, and we'll see how that treks. Will it make it toward Dickinson? It very well could, or these two could actually converge into one big storm somewhere near, near the Queen City. We got to keep that in mind here near Fairfield. It's very strong rotation with that storm as well. Billings County, you've got that severe or tornado warning rather and a severe thunderstorm warning until 630 here central daylight time. No matter what, just take these warnings seriously. A lot of storm chasers are out there with confirmation of at least funnel clouds, perhaps some tornadoes as well. Again, this is some serious business here when you've got these tornado warnings. We've been talking Talking about this for days and hoping it wouldn't happen, but here we go. There's some good news for some. I think Williston, your threat for severe weather is starting to diminish, but don't let your guard down because we still have more action here in Montana. It's closer to Minot. Severe weather prospects are really diminishing here because of all the uh, light rain and clouds all day, but it's Dickinson, our KQCD viewing area. That's of most concern. Right now, that warning was just dropped off here southwest of Dickinson regarding the tornado warning. Let's see if it gets reissued here. That one continues, though, around Fairfield. So severe weather threats. There's still that potential for large and damaging hail. Straight line winds between 60 and 80 miles per hour anywhere in the red shade here. And again, that includes hail between golf ball and baseball size hail anywhere from just east of Dickinson. Williston, maybe not now, but this is brand new information over just the past couple of minutes. But that tornado threat, albeit low at any one point, it is there. It's present. Eastern Montana all the way to areas just to the west of Mandan. Just again, do not let your guard down. As far as the thunderstorm timing, we're looking for the storms which will weaken some, but still some high winds, a possibility toward the U.S. 83 corridor. Right now it's up and down 85 for the most part, but between 7 and 11 o'clock. I think for Bismarck, Mandan, more like 9 or 10 o'clock this evening and even later in the night farther toward the east. We're still in that level 3 here, expanding a little bit farther toward the east, including Bismarck, Mandan from the Storm Prediction Center earlier in the day and again weakening as we approach eastern portions of North Dakota. Temperatures are all over the place, but near 90 in southwest North Dakota. We got winds around 10 to 20. And again, these thunderstorms, look at this, approaching central North Dakota by 9, 10 o'clock this evening. It's a line of storms. It gets a lot better farther west, but we'll continue to track all of this off toward eastern North Dakota all night long. But remember, right now, most of the action is near Dickinson. We'll keep you up to date. All right. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Sports is next.